are the the bones and the bones and chrome breaks, but I don't know. But yeah, yeah I mean, I our, our, our concentration he did in screen. screen. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I like doing it a lot better on the moment response. So, your eight people need to be doing the part needs to be done by them. That doesn't mean when stuff's all done, they can't jump in and help too. They can rotate too. Usually, by the time I get there, the crew's got it all on hand, and I just do my little job and move on. Um, why do we need IV or IR access? For meds. Can I keep messing around and find a way to pick up my No. 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 You gotta move it. Um, um, if, if you, you get, get a person back, back, what are you supposed, supposed to do? Do it. You can. You can. Keep, Keep doing, doing things. things. Try, try to figure, figure out, out what costs. There, there are things, things called, called H's and T's. Does anybody have those pulled up, pull up on their page? You know what page we're on? Six, Six ninety. Nine. Wow, wow. eight oh eight. There are major changes. By the way, you people who are online, please, please let me know, know what. Uh, um, if you have, have a third, third edition, edition, or fourth edition, edition, or what edition, edition, edition have, because, because I'm going to activate the online, online stuff, stuff, and my and book, book is a fourth, fourth edition, edition, so they're so going to send, send me codes, codes for all of you who still need them. Because I told them some of our books are certain. <coughs> okay, H's and T's. Anybody know what that means? This is something you hear churches talk about when they bring the film a lot. And ACLS talks about it a lot. What are the H's and T's? They're things that can be causing what's going on. Hypovolemia, hypoxia. A lot of hypos and hypers. Hyperalkemia, hyperthermia, hypothermia, tension pneumonia. How can a tension pneumonia? Well, some hypovolemia. How can hypovolemia be caused by this problem? Not enough blood. You don't have enough blood to pump around. You're not going to win. How do we fix that? Fluids, if not blood. The only way we can do it is to give a little bit of IV fluid, but any more than one unit, you're just spinning it down and you're not helping because saline is not going to carry it, but we can't transfuse. That takes care of it. So, what about hypoxia? What can we do to fix that? Oxygen. Slap the oxygen on. Especially when you're back and get that oxygen on there. Um, um, is there is anything, anything we can do about acidosis? acidosis? Yeah, not Could really. you get it? Uh, not really. Nothing, nothing we can, can do about, about the hyperkalemia. Yeah, that's, that's something that gets done in the hospital. What about how to fix that? Warm up. Warm up. <laughs> <laughs> are not keeping them warm, warm, not giving them the oxygen, oxygen and not giving them the fluids. fluids. All, All three, three of which we can fix. fix. Or you will be able to fix by the end of the class. Okay, okay how about, about a tension pneumo? Yep. yep. Can A M P do that? No. Yep. yep. That's, That's the only the reason, reason I keep that, that certification. certification. Is for so that, that tension anymore, but sometimes. sometimes. 
What is, what is a cardiac, cardiac tamponade? tamponade? Yeah. By what? what? Yeah. Right, right, something for cardiac, cardiac attack. Attack. Can we fix, fix that? that? No. Throw that on the heart. heart. It's what? what? Yep, yep, it's food around the heart. Yes. yes. Toxins. Anything we can do about that? Not really. Sometimes the oxygen of the fluids can do it, depending, depending on what the toxin is. is. Can we do that in any kind of dimension? I would not. That might, that might take you to a uh, trip to the courts for that one. <laughs> that is not a problem. Nope, nope, don't do it. it. Pulmonary coronary thrombosis. Can we do anything about those? No. But the H is just use something to keep your memory. memory. Uh, the one well, I didn't mention surprises me is glucose, glucose. hypoglycemia. It's in it's the in paragraph, paragraph right, right above. above. But make, well, make sure, sure that's, that's what the issue is, is before we do anything. anything. Yeah, yeah, make, make sure, sure that's, that's what the issue is. is. How easy is, is that to make sure that's what the issue is? is. Two seconds. Doesn't, Doesn't take long. long. Especially when you start starting an IV and you have blood like barrier. Technically, that's not how you're supposed to get it. But if I'm in a CPR situation, I'm going to use whatever I have. I'm not messing with it. Uh, um, if you obtain ROS, you're, you're going to keep an eye on them, and you're going to do the integrated post arrest care. care for a while they were telling us to do some things, and they're not telling us to do anymore. So basically, basically keep an eye on them, make sure the pulse is still coming. coming. Sometimes, Sometimes you might get a pulse back, back and they're still not breathing yet. yet. You might have to keep that in. Keep checking that pulse to make sure it's still there. Or medical, medical control, control can tell us to terminate. Do we, we have, have to start, start CPR, CPR every time we see somebody down? Depends, Depends on the situation. On the situation. Do, they Do they have a head, head or not? Okay. okay. If they we have, have a DNR, DNR and they can document it, it show your piece paper and say, hey, you guys have a DNR. DNR. Do we Do just take take person standing next to them's words saying, oh, they have a DNR? No. Can, Can we, we take, take a tattoo, tattoo across the chest, chest saying DNR? DNR? No. Can we take a sharpie that somebody wrote on themselves, DNR? No. No, no. 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 it happened. Two, Two kids, kids tried to commit suicide. suicide. And they, they wrote over sharpie. sharpie. Oh. Oh, oh, you do. So I can just click right out. out. We are actually in a discussion, discussion right, right now about a person who lives in the community that we're trying to figure out how they can legally do a DNR as a person. Yeah, because they're not competent enough to say this is my choice. Um, they have a power of medical power of attorney. We're still, still under discussion. Under discussion. I think, I think if we find out the way in the right direction, they're going to get it straightened out. out. And, and bring us to I ask them because they do these in the black care paperwork and they don't tell us. us. And what's, what's really, really weird, weird is, is there, there's, there's one, one that they were supposed to be filing in town hall. Well, town, town hall filed it away, but they never told us. What could they do to put it in town hall? If you don't talk to us. Hey, Becky. Hey, yes. yes. So, so what well, I've been telling my uh, elderly uh, patients, like, like when we go do like this stuff, uh, and they'll, and they'll have, have a POA there, there. I, tell I tell them that that, that needs to be on your refrigerator, refrigerator or, somewhere, or somewhere, and you can, can also, also let dispatch know, know that you have, have this so it's in their files, so that way when we do get called there, 
dispatchers, dispatchers let, let us know where, where their, 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 their stuff, stuff is. is. So, so that, that is, is on, an, an option, too. too. That is that a is great, great idea. idea. We need to yeah, educate yeah, our community yeah. on that. A little mile of life. There was a little, there was a portion here that they took a big pill bottle about that big. And they had a piece of paper that had all your medical information, your surgeries, your allergies, your medications you're on. And you kept it in that in the little thing. And I don't know why they chose to put it in the fridge. And then you put a magnet on the fridge saying that this is where it is. And a lot of things still happening. Now, now ask them if they've looked, looked at it since they got, they got that 15, 15 years ago, and they'll probably, probably tell you no. But they, they need, need to keep, keep it updated. <laughs> but I was just, just asked about that recently. <laughs> Let's say we should do it again. Is that what we're hearing? <laughs> the ducks. Okay. okay. How about any these? Yep, yep, she's showing, showing them to us. Right, right there. there. I don't I have it on the TV, so they can't see you, but I can. <laughs> That's where my stress relief has been lately, is hanging out with my chickens. Me too. Um, what do we need to know? What, okay, what rhythms can an AD shop? Pulseless VTAC. VTAC, yeah. Ventricular fibrillation. Can an AED actually tell if there's a pulse? No, it can't. It's really like touching. So I think it's funny it says that. But it does know fibrillation. Um, so where do we put the little things on the patient. Exactly where you're to show. Right there, right, right there. there. Can, Can the pads ever touch? touch? No. no. Where do you put them if they're, they're too, too little, little or the pads are too big? big. Front, Front and back. back. Can, Can we flap the pad, pad down, down and make it the right size? size? No. no. Can we use, use a, a pediatric pad, pad on an adult? adult. You can try. <laughs> it's not a good enough shot to do anything else. Yeah, yeah. Can, you can you use an adult pad and a kiddo if you don't, don't have a key pad? Yep, yep front, front and back. back. I think I these AEDs that they gave us are really curious, really curious because there's a button on them to say this is a peed or this is an adult. The white ones that we're carrying. And they are in some of the libraries. I know the library in Maryland does one. No, it's, it's not. Okay, um, okay, what are what special, special situations with ADs? We talked about, about kiddos. kiddos. Okay, okay pacemaker. pacemaker. What do you what do, do if someone has a pacemaker? An injury. Okay. What if you can't? Because they're not very big, big and the pacemaker's kind of in the way. Can you go to the other side? side? Front, Front and back. back. They usually are. Pacemakers. Don't have to see them to have a pacemaker that you can see. Could you see it? I didn't see it. Curious. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's had it for a while. while. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a patient, patient for her heart. It's implanted. But, but I didn't I see, see it. it. So, like, just, yeah, yeah, curious. curious. We, just we just had a call recently on a 17 year old that has a patient. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Because her heart, heart was stopping, stopping during, during the night. night. Wow. And then she, she had seizures. seizures. So, so, 
Implanted pacemakers, pacemakers or defibrillators? If they have an implanted defibrillator, can I still put a defibrillator in it? Yep, because it's obviously not working. Okay, she just, just Googled, Googled it for us, us and Google, Google says, says. Yeah, they're hard to see. That's, That's true, you'll see a scar tissue there. there. Yeah, they were big walls. You could definitely see them along this way, especially in skinny people. Hey, Becky, what, what about, about metaphors? metaphors? What about what? Metaphors. 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 Like, like uh, for cancer patients? Yeah. 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 You, you would have, have to go, go around, around those two. two. Okay. okay. Just because I don't interfere with your electrical. That's, that's not, not, I have not seen that in the book, but I would think you'd need to avoid that. Okay. That's something, something even when starting, starting IVs, IVs and IOs, you never, 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 never support. They will, they will string, string you up. up. Not, Not for us. us. Um, um, okay. okay. What's, What's another, another special, special situation? situation? Water. water. If they are they in water, water, obviously they need pulled out. out. If they have they some have water, water on their chest, wipe it real quick. quick. If they're laying on plan, plan it's it's a little wet, wet, don't worry about it. it. Yeah, if yeah, it's, it's a big, big puddle, puddle, don't do it. Move them somewhere dry. Um, Perry patients, try to, try to, we try to make sure around here, here especially, but we try to make sure everybody has, has a razor in their kit. I still, I still don't have one in my life. life. They just, they just gave, gave four of us the little LEDs, LEDs to carry in our cars, cars that live outside, outside of town. town. And, and I still need to get a razor, razor in line. line. So, the so the quickest, quickest way, way, they say they put the pad on and rip it up, up. But I don't, I don't know, know too many LEDs that go around with, with multiple pairs of pads in them because they're very expensive and they expire. If you use this to rip all that hair off, the hairs are all on your pad. <laughs> you can tape them. Duck tape! Gorilla tape! That's, That's all we need. Guys, guys, just, just shake, shake it. it. Yeah. If you have one. If you really, you really don't, don't, then yeah. yeah. Tweezers are just going to cut it. it. Um, what about what medication, medication patches? patches? Pull them oh. off. Pull them off. <laughs> What do you, you want, want to be sure, sure before, before you peel them off? off. You have you gloves have on. on. You don't want it to take, take you out down, whatever it is. How do we How want our patient, patient position while we're doing, doing all this stuff? stuff? It's fine. fine. On a firm, firm flat, flat surface. surface. You know, people, people have asked me about doing, doing it on a cot. But our cots are only... It's not, it's not like, like they really protect, protect much. much. Uh, how, how often, often do we check your breathing, breathing and a pulse? Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> After every five minutes? They tell you you need to use your CPR when you check your pulse again. <laughs> Somebody, Somebody can actually, if you have enough people, people, you can be checking the pulse while they're doing CPR to a specific effective. And when they go to do the breast, you should be able to still continue feeling it if there's pulse back. That doesn't mean we'll be standing all the time. But every so often, yeah, check it real quick and see if there's a pulse. And what is real quick? Less than 10 seconds. Everything, less than 10 seconds. Um, okay. Hand position. I don't even teach that anymore. Just say lower half have breastbone. Be sure your hands are in the right position. 
You still don't want to be done on that Zephyr process. Do you generally, if I stick my hand across, at least the mannequins and people I've seen, about my ring fingers about where the nipple line is and the other fingers are down below. Um, kiddo, I think it's like a finger below the nipple line. Like infants, little teeny tiny ones. But lower half of the breastbone basically works. If you hear popping, crunching noises and start to your crepitus, you might want to reassess where your hands are. Because if your hands are not the sternum, if you're starting to lean one, one side or the other, other, if you're not, you're not directly, directly above them and pushing them straight, straight down, down, you're pushing sideways and squashing the sternum not where you want it to go. So get directly, directly above, above them. Um, there are little feedback, feedback devices, devices you can buy and stick it underneath and your hands, hands and they'll tell you how you're doing. doing. Uh, like I say, it's all, all, I think you said the, the, whatever one you said. Does it have feedback to you to tell you push it harder or deeper or? Okay. The Zolak series does it has a people going on it and it fills. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. At least part of the Okay, how about your airways? How are you opening your new airways? To breathe through these people. Head tilt in the loss. Job has to use your stick back. With little ones, remember you can pad out of their shoulders so their head stays open automatically for you. You don't keep that all the time. Leather ducks. Sorry, guys. That's all right. That's fine. Just making sure that somebody can talk to me. Um, um, where are we checking, checking in, Nicole? Crowded. Crowded. When, when does that, that change? change? Under two. two. And then the and break, 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 break. Yep, break heel. Break heel. In their upper arm. arm. How do you ventilate somebody who has a stomach? What? You can. Yeah, you can stick back out right in it. You can stick the thing over it. Um, oxygen, you just plug in. But the, yeah, use a pediatric mask on the neck because it's smaller than it. This is very random, not as flat as it takes. Um, bag of masks. What do we need to know about, about them? them? Make, sure Make sure the bag, the bag is inflated. inflated. Make sure your oxygen bag is inflated. You don't have to put, put the, the whole arm bag full. They're making them smaller and smaller, smaller because people are overventilating their patients. How much, How much air, air do you need to squish through, through that? that? 500? Is it? Or no, no, it's not that. Just, Just enough to see, see the chest, chest rise. rise. You want to barely, barely see the chest, chest rise. rise. You do you want, want to see movement, but you just don't want to inflate it all the way through. What, what happens, happens if you inflate too much? too much? You can make, make the air go under their, their belly. belly. Okay, you go in their belly, belly, which causes them to vomit. What else does it do? Blow them up. Has that belly filled up with air? It's pushing up against the diaphragm, making pressure out there. And it, it is, is increasing, increasing the pressure, pressure in the chest, chest and why do you not want pressure, pressure inside the thoracic? Because, because we need negative pressure, pressure for the air and the blood to refill. So we want, we want to avoid that negative pressure. pressure. We're kind of doing just, just the opposite, opposite of what we want. want. Uh, What can, what can we do, we do if, if the gastric distension starts, distension starts to interfere with that ventilation? ventilation? Suction, maybe? You can yeah, try that. Yeah. Have the suction ready to start vomiting. vomiting. Definitely. Yep, yep. so sometimes I have control. 
There are advanced survey items that can be used to help get rid of the yes extension. This is why the, the advanced stairways are good because they are is now going into the lungs and it's not going into the stomach. So if we have the ability to do that, we need to get that out as soon as we can. Um, what's the difference between uh, two rescuers with adults and children 32? With children, children, what is children, children in CPR? 15 to 2. What age is the children? Uh, under. Under, uh, under, under one, one. One and under. under. That's that infants. Sense. Oh. oh. Six, Six and under. under. It's eight. Eight and under for CPR. Oh. It's a size, size thing, thing, though. though. Onset, onset of puberty, which, which is, is how you know onset of puberty. Any development of the breast or hair in the armpits on that is the definition. That's not the exact word for word. Any breast development or it is the hair in the armpits, but I can't remember what they, how they word it. Um, when do you switch positions? positions? Every, Every five, five cycles. cycles. But what, what part, part of the CPR are you switching? <laughs> yeah, if there's just two of you, yeah, yeah. you just kind of swap. If there's three of you, have that person's man while they're breathing, breathing ready, ready to do the next compression. Next compression. And then you have time to rotate. But if there's only two of you, yeah, yeah, you go back and forth. Which is why, where do you put your hands for an infant when you're doing CPR? You can do the two thumbs together on the sternum, or you can do the two. If there's only one person that sees you, you're basically going to do this because then you're. you're Hands are allowed for you to do the airway breathing. If you're, I don't know, um, if there's two, two of you, you you're going to do this because that's the key out of the way of the airway. It's a space thing. We actually did a code of training one night on an infant just to show people how much complicated it is to try to get yeah, started with any new stuff on the little bitty person. Uh, we work, we work together. together. We need to use good communication. We need to stay calm and polite, no yelling at each other. Um, try to keep an eye on people who calmly suggest that they're starting to do something dumb. Hey, no, I think it's this way. Yeah, it's just fine. Yep. Don't let the plastic touch. Don't. Uh, Slow down, down, speed up, up. a little oh, deeper. deeper. And if you have enough people, you want a recorder. If you have yeah, somebody, somebody recording, recording, then they can help control, control that scene, scene too. too. That is really <laughs> nice for the recorder to do, to sit back and coach. Um, do, do, does, does everybody, everybody have, have to be, what's the, how do I want to word the question? <laughs> We were, we were doing, doing CPR, CPR one, one time, time and, and there was a deputy, deputy standing stand there observing. observing. And he, he said, said, hey, hey dispatch, dispatch is calling you on the radio. radio. I, I said, that's, that's really nice. nice. My hands are busy. Could you please relay that information for me? Oh, he had yeah, even thought about it. it. You can ask questions and ask me and tell them the answer and it'll be just fine. Or somebody dialed a phone and sit it down next to you so they can ask these questions what they want to know. Great, it's kind of hard. You got to push that button, button. And you need a hand to do that. Uh, that's, that's true. true. Only works in town. Not in between. We had, we had somebody, somebody come in last year and was going to help us all get great cell service. service. 
And I said, you know, it would be really nice if we did have Wi Fi so we could send the, uh, the strips, cardiac strips, to the hospital. <laughs> what what do you need again? And my dear, dear legislature from the top, from the top of, that of that wall to 15, 15 miles out that way to 50, 50 miles, miles that way. way. <laughs> and the guy's just trying to. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like towers, towers or something out. out. Where we can get yeah. anything. They said they would try. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, okay Lucas, Lucas, or the or adults. adults. We actually yeah, have, we have one, one of each. each. We have yeah, an adults. And, and in the past, past I suggested suggest we, we get batteries because I figured out how enough batteries to put dying. And, and we could have, have one on each trip. trip. Um, uh, seems like people are more into Lucas and the adults. The adults is a lot less violent. It has, has a bag all the way around. around. I mean, a band, band all the way around. around. It just squeezes all the way around. And you can you actually can put your hand on it when it's squeezing. And you don't, it doesn't hurt. It goes. It's, it's stretches. stretches. And you can wrap it. There's, there's a one. There's people. Um, Yep. yep. And, and little kiddos, kiddos you can't. can't. If you, you can, can get, get that, that suction down, down to their, their chest, chest and it doesn't go ding ding ding, it will work. But if it goes ding ding ding, it's not going to. Bottle pulse? No. Because it doesn't have that business. So maybe I'll change that back those one of these days. Um. So, so Lucas, Lucas, you want it in as soon as, as possible? possible? You want this, this, the, the, where you're clipping to, to right under the armpits? Up as high as you can go. You can go. They do they not work on anybody when they, they, they first got trained, trained or first person who tried to put, put it, it on. on. Did, did not, not work because, because it's just, just this. And it it was a big ear and it angled down. He couldn't get that substance up to angle the way his chest was doing. So, so they, they like, like the, the like the, 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 the better there is what they use because, because he knows that won't fit him. Yeah, but he just happens to be one of the ambulance, ambulance directors, directors in the area. The area. Um, um, you need you to remember, remember that you can strap those arms, arms down, down and keep them out of your way. So as you're moving, you don't have problems. problems. Use, use that, that strap, strap around the neck to keep it from moving. Take your pins, mark, mark where that sets and cup goes. Make sure, make sure it's, it's not moving. moving. If it, it is, is moving, stop and adjust. They, they do move. move. And we, we have, have such lovely, lovely smooth roads. roads. I don't know what you mean by they move. move. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Pretty, Pretty vicious. vicious. Okay, okay how, how do we check? Um, um, responsiveness, responsiveness in an infant. infant. Yeah, full body. How come we're not shaking them? them? Okay. <laughs> you probably get a kick kind of both sides. Hey, 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 there's a little Olympic compressions. Kiddos, Kiddos, we might only need one hand to do CPR, CPR just whatever it takes to make that go down the about two inches. Approximately two inches in most children. When do we not start CPR? Okay. Here's what you find is injury is not compatible with life. Um, there, there is a wonderful picture, wonderful picture of the, the line of the line of lividity, lividity in the person. In the person. 
if they look, look like that, that, if you go to take, take the shirt, shirt off and you see that, that line there, there it's not going to do any good. good. That blood's already right. pulled somewhere and it's not going to be moving around. Surprisingly, Surprisingly enough, enough, we first, first person, person I did CPR on it down, down for over an hour, hour. and they looked, they looked really, really great, great. kind of like a tablecloth, maybe a little bluish. bluish. And, and we did CPR anyway through miscommunication, miscommunication. People did not. Yeah, we didn't get all of our act together. And, and somebody, somebody, the boss man, man thought we were already doing CPR and told us to continue. And, and we hadn't started, started yet. And rather, yet, and rather than argue with him, we started. And then the guy that really looked like he should wake up and talk to you. Because his circulation had been going beautifully. But he wasn't going to come back. He was been down way too long. So, so if you see, see that animal bit of you don't, you don't need, need to. to. If the body, body starts, starts being stiff, rigor mortis starts start setting in, in. don't do it. But if you, you they're starting, starting to decompose, decompose obviously not. not. Mortal injuries, injuries like decapitation like or dismemberment, burn beyond recognition. recognition. We, my, my crew, crew had started, started one time on this person that, that when I found, I found out what the whole story was, was had massive mass head, head trauma, trauma, and I got, got looking at where the person had been bleeding out at, and in, in the, the dirt, dirt was a puddle about like this. How much of that's been sucked down that into the dirt? She didn't, she didn't have, have any blood left to be pumping. And then and I went start my knee, there was, there was no vein. vein. <laughs> they were flat. So, so I went and had a chat with the person, and they agreed that she was no longer in the neck and stuff. But, but so when so do when we do stop? stop? Ooh, there's, there's I have never seen this. There's an acronym, acronym for stop. stop. S, S when the patient, patient starts, starts breathing and has a pulse. pulse. T, T if we transfer, transfer care, care to another provider of equal or higher training. training. Why do we need an equal or higher training? training? Because, yep, we can't abandon them. If you are out of strength as O or too tired to continue, P, if you have a physician who is present or providing online medical direction that says you can stop this, it's okay. There's a couple times I have gotten calls that said, why did this CPR get terminated? First time I can say, because a physician has seen you call before we got there, actually. It was called before we ever made it. And the second time was because of an injury not compatible with life. And we realized we were all kind of doing a few attempts, and there was no point. They told us they had only been doing CPR about three minutes when we all got there. Or no, she was only out without CPR. They started CPR, CPR within two or three minutes. minutes. No, no way, way they, they could, could have, have because the injury she was trapped and they couldn't have gotten to it all That's, That's why, why there's blood like everywhere. Just because we're going through. Okay. Foreign body airway, airway obstructions, obstructions in adults. adults. You can do what? Oh, okay. okay. So there's, there's a commercial where they, 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 they tried to train the stop and put CCR on those persons. Or is it really compressing? Okay, mild and their obstruction. What's the difference between mild and the complete? One they can breathe, breathe one they can't. Can. Yep, you can still hear their air moving through or they're not going to copy. Is that a partial or full? Partial. partial. Can they have their copy and become a full? Yes. Yes. So you want to be on your toes with that. If you fall, yep, yep. And get caught up. Exactly. So, so what, what do we do? do? 
I think it's silly they always show this picture. Are we going to sit around and wait for somebody to do this? I'm sorry, I'm not joking. You're not giving me the universal sign. And if you don't give me the universal sign, I'm not going to help you. Encourage them to keep coughing. If they're coughing, keep coughing. If they are making no sound and they can't speak or talk, their eyes get really big. What are you going to do? Start the high one. Up. Oh, hi, hi, are you are joking? You need help? help? Can I help you? Remember, we have to have permission before we start meeting on people. I did I not have my granddaughter. Really We're going to come up. We're going to make a fist. We're going to put it below the, above the belly button, umbilicus, below the rib cage. And how are you going to do, do with it? Just behind him, in and up. Really hard. Um, what, what if, if the, person the person is really big? <laughs> you go up on the chest where you would be doing CPR. Or pregnant. Because they're smaller, smaller up here. here. Okay. okay. What happens, happens when they when become, become responsive, responsive and you still don't have it out? Get them laid down, down and start CPR. CPR. With, With one, one exception. What's that exception? exception? When you, when you go to get, get ready, ready open, open their mouth, mouth to get breath, breath look, look and see, see if you can see it. it. Pull it out if you can see it. it. If not, not you leave it there. there. <laughs> okay. Just as the dominant does, they just become more responsive. How about inconsensual children? <laughs> You're going to have to dangle their, their size. size. Probably not full as hard. Babies, yep, you're laying on. Their head is pointing down, and you're whopping them between the shoulder blades five times. Support their head, flip them over, use your other hand, do chest press. As you flip them over, if they become unconscious, look in their mouth and see if, as you're doing CPR again, check and make sure that you can't see it. Uh, My granddaughter was small enough, I, she was one of them and tipped upside down and smacked back to her shoulder blades for those of you who haven't heard yet. She immediately hacked up her little piece of nail and she was choking on it. I sat her up and she didn't even cry, she just looked at me like, it made me feel a little bad. Why would you do that? I didn't do anything to you. Okay. Special circumstances. What are some other things, things that can cause, cause cardiac, cardiac arrest, arrest or some symptoms, symptoms that you think they have cardiac arrest? Remember your opioids. opioids. That's not it's in the H's and T's. But you can, yeah, if, you've if you've got, got little pinpoint, pinpoint pupils, pupils and, and you see signs, signs of drug use, use try, try giving them naloxone. Awesome. See if it helps. It helps. Is it going to hurt, hurt anything? anything? Nope. How about, How about with a pregnant, pregnant patient? patient? It is. Yes. You still I have saw. two people. Baby, Baby needs the air, too. Go, Go ahead and do CPR. They need, they need it. There is one, one thing you need to remember to do different when you have a pregnant woman, woman and you're laying on her back. back. You want to pull Baby to the left. left. Whether or somebody's somebody pushing, pushing it, pulling it, pulling it stick, stick something, something under her hip, 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 hip so, so the baby's kind of tilted sideways. Of course, you can still put something under their hip and have their back down where you can compress. Hey, okay, if they, they do, do not make it, it, who becomes our patients? patients? The families. Yeah. Remember, Remember to talk, talk to the family. To family. Um, don't, don't hover. hover. Don't, Don't be in the way. way. But try to support them. See if there's some family member you need to call for them. I know some, some of those around, around here. here. Some, some calls, calls that have come across, across the person who's obviously deceased. And you have to wait, wait for the officers to show up and you're sitting there forever. It feels like. 
All right. All right. Any, any questions, questions on, on that? that? I don't, I don't think, think I'm going to get into pharmacology tonight. tonight. I think I'm going to save that for Monday. Give it to me. Cool. Um, um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. good. I wanted, I wanted to start, to start it so, so that she, she would have more time on other things, things but, but she's just. You're, you're not, not going to be starting IVs in the next Monday. Monday. You're just going to talk, talk about, about it and learn about getting your message, 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 how you give them different ways and that sort of thing. And then Saturday. Not this Saturday, but we can Saturday. On September 2nd is the hands on class. I would like everybody that can to possibly be there. It is not going to be very intensely. We're working, working on, on finding a place, place in Portland because, because my instructor got a schedule change to be on call. call. Who's that? Who's Paris? Well, I think, well, we're, I think we're, we're going to talk to the hospital. hospital. Um, we, we might go there too. That's my backup. Back up. Yep, yep. yep. And where that, that you have mannequins, mannequins and all that, all that stuff, stuff there, there that you can use them to take ours. Yeah. What all we have? Yeah. But I'm going to talk to the hospital, 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 hospital too, though, to see what they say. But I will let you know where. Where's what? Yes. yes. I got, I got new, new training, training. IOIPs that are just, are just for training and have recharged for batteries. Else. Else. Anyway, anyway, guys, so keep that, keep that in mind. mind. Next, Next Monday, Monday is pharmacology, pharmacology and then the introduction to the IOIPs access. And then on Saturday, the second, I will let you know where we're going to be meeting in Orlando. Do we have class this Saturday? Not this Saturday, no. Okay. Next class is Monday, and then September 2nd. Okay, okay, sounds good. good. So, have, have a good, good weekend, weekend, guys. guys. Hey, thanks. Thanks, thanks. 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 Good, night. good night. Bye. 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 Yes, yes, I do. do. Recall.